The Digital Photography Cafe show is brought to you by Focus Pyramid, the autofocus lens calibration tool for your camera. Welcome to the Digital Photography Cafe show. Join host Trevor Curran and Joseph Christina as they serve up the hottest photography news and commentary. Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. This is episode 200. I'm Joseph Christina here with my co-host, Trevor Current. Hey Trev, oh my God, 200. I know, can you believe it? Yeah, I'm sick of your voice. No, I know. <laughs> it's no, a you're lot sick of, of me. <laughs> <laughs> I know, can you believe it? Oh my goodness, we've been working on this for almost, what is it, I'm getting close to five years now. Yeah, I know, I know. We, uh, we launched back in, what, 2011. Yeah. So, yeah, I know, a long time, my friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's exciting. I can't believe it. 200. I know we've been talking about it for a while and we've been kind of prepping and prepping and all of this preparation has kind of lead us to this show. But um, for you guys out there, something really, really cool is going to happen today. And um, and that's kind of, uh, we're going to give you something, but we're not going to give you a little something or a little freebie or something. We might give you something like that too. But the main thing is we're going to be giving you possibly a chance to win over $4,100 of a prize. And instead of distributing it through, let's say, 5, 10, 15 of you, it's going to be one person. So one, one person, person one person is going to have a boatload of Amazon or, or some truck showing up to the front, <laughs> uh, um, the front of your house. And then also you'll probably end up a computer full of new software. So uh, really yeah, excited. Yeah, man. that's right. I mean, we've run a bunch of giveaways in the past, and I'm sure many of our listeners and viewers have been a part of them. Yeah. And we've done, you know, first, second, third prizes, grand prize. And uh, but this time we really wanted to make a big bang, you know, make it really impactful, give one person everything. Everything. <laughs> everything. So yeah, over forty one hundred dollars worth of stuff. We're gonna start out with an Epson Shore Color P four hundred wide format. It's a 13-inch printer. Yeah, that's um, beautiful. Really beautiful printer. Great for your photography work. Um, very nice stuff. Um, our buddies over at Photodoe, they're given a $100 credit, basically, to buy anything on the Photodoe site. Right. Um, and if you haven't been over there, I'm sure pr pretty much all of you have heard of it. But really cool. It's kind of like a Groupon, but for photography stuff. Right, it's right. Uh, really good stuff. And a hundred bucks at Photodo will get you a long way. <laughs> that will get you a lot of stuff. <laughs> you get a lot sure. of stuff for sure. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, your friends over there at ATS Rental, um, who you got your uh, your Canon gear from for the video shoot, they're actually giving the winner a two hundred dollar gift certificate for rental. And they not only do audio and photo and video. I mean, they got they got all the stuff there that you're going to need. So right, very right. very cool. And of course, you're giving away your uh, Focus Pyramid and your three-in-one photo reference tool and your brand new PRT Mini. Yeah, that just came out. And that's from jchristina.com. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's uh, that's going to be coming out. Now, For what else is on this list is there's some other amazing things. Um, one that really stands out is Corel. Um, they've stepped up and they're giving us Aftershot 2 Pro. Um, I did a comparison on that uh, a couple of months back. Um, it's a really nice piece of software. Also, Painter 2016, the brand new one. That's like 400 bucks, right? Over 400. Yeah, that's a really cool app. If you're if you're really into kind of creating art. Um, this is a really cool app to play with. For yeah, sure. absolutely. Particle Shop um, is another one. And of course, Pinnacle Studios 19. So if you don't have a video editor, Pinnacle Studios can definitely do it for you, um, which is really nice. Uh, the folks over at Affinity, um, they're giving away um, Affinity Photo as well as Affinity uh, Designer, which is basically, we talked about this in the past too. It's kind of, let's just, let's call it what it is. It's an alternative to Adobe products. So yeah, um, Adobe Photoshop and Illustrator. Yeah, and it's yep. it really good stuff. It works out fantastic. The folks over there at NextGen, they're giving us also uh, an e-commerce account, a Gallery um, W. Uh, it's a WordPress plugin. Um, that's that's fantastic. And of course, in Light, um, I've I'm not sure if I've talked about them in the past, but they are a mobile photo editor um, company. It's called In Light, and their editor is by far the best editor that I've found mobile period so they're going to be giving out a copy of that also 
Cool, very nice. Yeah, and Frappito, we talked about them last week on the yeah. show. They're giving away their um, travel guides. So this is really cool. Um, you'll be able to download the app and load in um, a travel guide and use it on your next vacation. Yeah. Really cool, really cool. Our friends over at Tether Tools, they're giving us two of their really um, neat uh, photo accessory mounts. It's the SXL and the Q20. Right. Um, so you can mount flashes or little GoPros or whatever, and you can pretty much stick them anywhere, mm -hmm. to walls, to windows, to flat surfaces, to desks, anything like that. Um, our friends over at Collages, um, collages.net, they are giving a one-year platinum membership to their online galleries. It's a, basically, it's an e-commerce platform for your photos. It gives you the ability to build uh, galleries. You can um, send it, uh, send your clients there for proofing, for making selects, and then for product fulfillment. So they're also given $75 in lab fees. Yeah, I know. Um, I know, Trevor, you've been working also on CP um, um, websites for quite some time, and it's finally going live, and you're going to be giving someone a year's uh, worth of web hosting, um, which is really exciting. So that's that's really cool. Um, yeah, yeah, long time coming. Long but time. Yeah, we're we're really excited. It's this is going to kind of be like the soft launch, let's say. Yeah. Um, and our winner will probably be one of the first people on board doing it. Um, but yeah, this is a managed WordPress hosting platform for your photography website. Yeah. So this will be really, really good. Yeah, you have we have uh, MacFun. They're going to be given out uh, Creative Kit 2016, which is a photo editing software. It's like a collection of all different kinds of things for um, editing. Uh, your photos. Um, PackPod is going to be giving away a tripod, which is this really neat tripod. I think we've showed it on the show a, maybe a week or two ago. Uh, I know it's uh, it's something that you actually have over there right now. You might be doing a review on, so you might be seeing more of that soon. And whoever wins, they're going to get to, they're going to get to see it before they see your review, probably. Yeah, probably. Um, yeah. Very cool tripod. Um, White Wall is going to be given a gift card for two hundred bucks. Um, most of us know White Wall for printing and whatnot. And seventeen hats. Everyone that has um, you know, we're, we're constantly managing business, right? And we have so many um, things going on from emails to contact uh, information to uh, contracts and everything in between. Invoicing. Invoicing. And all of this stuff. Yeah. yeah. So 17 Hats is a company that basically does this one, sh you know, one stop shop that puts it all into one place for you. And they're giving away a one year subscription. That's over 200 bucks right there. So um, that's fantastic from 17 Hats. Yeah, absolutely. And On One Software, we've been working with On One for years. Yeah. I know I worked with them a lot with uh, Current Photographer years ago. Right. And they're out with Photo 10. Um, it's their latest suite, the latest update to their suite of tools. Um, really amazing software, really good stuff. And they have uh, training videos from Matt Kloslowski. He's, uh, right. you've probably seen him before. He was one of the Photoshop guys. He did a lot of uh, stuff over with uh, Kelby Training. Um, now he's doing some work with On One, which is awesome. So now you can get all this training on On One software right from Matt through the videos, which is awesome. Right. Um, Imaginomic, um, they are giving their plugin suite for Photoshop, which is Portraiture. Um, and that's like a skin smoothing uh, software. Uh, we've, I think we've talked about that on the show before. Nice. Uh, Noiseware, it's noise reduction software and real grain. Um, so it, it gives your digital images the feel of having like real film grain. Yeah, that's from, one of my from favorites. back in the day. Yeah, that's one of my favorites that they, that they have. It'll actually take those digitals and, and they'll have different um, types of film. And so it will give uh, those digital images the look of the different types of grain from different types of film. So uh, really cool. Definitely, I like that product a lot. Yeah, for sure. And last but not least, um, this is a really cool product, one that I actually would love to have, and I'm sure you would <laughs> yeah, too, Yeah, me Joe. too. Um, it's called the Video Assist from Blackmagic Designs. Um, Blackmagic makes a lot of high-end video equipment, yeah. um, capture equipment, um, cameras, well, this video assist is actually an external uh, monitor. It's an HD monitor. It's a touch screen. And it is also a video recorder. Right. So you pump your HDMI or um, SDI into it. You can actually record from it. You can have a pass through to go out to another monitor or to a projector or something. Right. Really nice. And it gives you the ability to record that HDMI 
onto its internal recorder as well as recording in your camera at the same time. So it's kind of like a backup on the fly. Yeah. Really cool. Good stuff. Yeah, this is a, that's an amazing piece of equipment right there. Absolutely. So, so guys, over $4,100 yeah. worth of stuff right there. Very, very excited. I'm really looking forward to uh, giving it to one of our lucky listeners and viewers. I know. That's going to be very, very cool. I mean, over all of our giveaways over the years are probably um, well over 10, 20 grand at this point. But um, a lot sure. of fun. It's just so much fun to be able to give things away. And, you know, just, just kudos to all of the big names and small names out there that have, you know, given over, just handed over um, product. Um, for us to give away that believe in us and believe in the show and um, you know over the years have have you know let's, let's just say have been you know, kind of like the backbone that kind of holds us up a little bit you know yep, definitely appreciate the support for absolutely sure. so something that's really nice is everyone who enters is going to get something right so only one is going to get the big prize but everyone who enters is actually going to get a copy of joe's uh portrait series and fashion series lightroom preset and that has uh, an $80 value. So all you have to do is just head over to the website. You can actually enter the competition and you'll get those automatically yeah. for free. Yeah, so it's yeah. awesome. So you guys have to head over. The URL that you're going to be going to is contest.digitalphotographycafe.com. So it's the website, but you want contest.before. So contest dot digitalphotographycafe.com. It's going to start, the open, we're going to open it on November 23rd. So I don't know when you're listening to this. Hopefully it's a little before then. November 23rd, 2015. It's going to go through December 6th, 2015. And we're going to draw it the next day, which is December 7th. That's right. Um, so and we'll be contacting the winner through email. So when you enter the uh, competition, make sure that you've got your email straight. Or otherwise, we won't be able to get in yeah. touch with you. Exactly. So before we go any further, what you guys need to do is just hit pause, hit the little pause button and go enter. Go over there to the uh, right. <laughs> the contest.digitalphotographycafe.com. Go enter. And once you enter, then come back and hit play and we'll give you a lot more information. All right. I wonder if everyone's back, you think? Hello? I hope so. <laughs> you guys there? Did you go and sign up? I'm sure you did. Don't forget, yes. it, just in case you didn't, $4,100 of a prize. Go register to win. You have to go and register to win. It's kind That's of like right. a no-brainer. That's a big chunk of money. <laughs> That's right. That's right. So in this episode, we kind of want to get into yeah, where we came from. Yep. You know, this is an anniversary show, the 200th episode, kind of where we where we started, why we started, what possessed us to yeah. do this. I have no idea. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and uh, kind of where we are now and where we're planning on going in the future. Yeah, and, and also, of course, who we are, because um, some of you are brand new uh, to Digital right. Photography Cafe. We've been here for five years. Um, and uh, kind of give you like a little background on who your hosts are, who we are, uh, who you'll be listening to, hopefully in the future for the next 100 or 200 shows. So once again, if you're brand new to Digital Photography Cafe, welcome. Um, yes, welcome. We love that you're here and we, you know, hope hopefully you stay with us. So Yeah, um, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, so Trevor, I know you have, just tell us a little bit about, about yourself, right? And then I'll kind of, I'll talk a little bit about me. So we kind of they'll get an idea of who we are, right? Yeah, sure, sure. So, you know, I'm, I've kind of always been one of these artsy guys, you know, even when I was a kid, I was drawing and painting and all kinds of stuff. Um, got into photography as a kid, like most of us do. And, uh, you know, senior year in high school, I decided, yeah, I think art school is what I want to do. <laughs> so I uh, went off to a three-year art school. It was uh, condensed training. Um, I majored in uh, graphic design, commercial art. Um, advertising, all that good stuff. I minored in photography. And uh, after I graduated from, uh, from art school, I actually immediately got a job. In fact, we were at a graduation party um, having a great time. It was on a Sunday afternoon and I actually had to leave early because I had to get up for work the next morning for my first day at my job. <laughs> That's awesome. So, it kind of, kind of sucked. It was good and it was bad though, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Not everyone can be that lucky to graduate and just get a job right now. No, off the so no, I know. Really I count my blessings for sure. 
But uh, so that was like a small mom and pop shop. It was a, a little agency. Um, we did a lot of high tech ad work and stuff like that. We did collateral. Um, and I stayed with them for about three years and it was really good. I was the art department. I did all their, their, uh, design and their comps and their layouts and their paste up, you know, back when there really was paste up, cutting out type and sticking it on a board. Um, I did all their illustration, airbrush illustration. It really was a great learning experience for me. And, and that was knowledge I was able to take onto my second job um, where it just was really elevated. I mean, it elevated me both professionally, both with the, the type of work that I was doing, the client level. Now I went from these, these high tech consumer like, you know, electronic companies that, that no one has really ever heard of into, you know, consumer packaging mm -hmm. companies like M&M Mars and Sony Electronics and Crayola, believe it or not, all the crayons that we played with as kids. Uh, we did a lot of work for them and that was amazing. And I was with that company for 17 years. And back in 2010, I uh, decided it was time that I do my own thing. Um, you know, I've, I'm a senior position now, 20 years of experience. And I said, you know, really the next place for me to go to be successful and to really launch my career to the next level at that senior position is really my own business. And that's when I opened my company, Current Media Group. And I've been doing uh, graphic design work, uh, but mainly website development. That has been kind of my focus over the last five years. And uh, during this time period, I also had started uh, CurrentPhotographer.com, which a lot of you have probably heard of and you know heard me talk <laughs> about over the years. And that kind of started life as like my own little project, my own little way to share my thoughts about the photo industry. And, uh, and when I actually went full time in my own business, I could take a little bit more time to dedicate to it. And I actually started really building a big audience. I mean, that's when Twitter was first getting hot and I was one of the early adopters of Twitter. And uh, we, I was able to grow that website to about a quarter of a million uh, page views within you know about six months of its existence yeah um it was it was really big um and that really opened up the door for a lot of uh different opportunities for me so that continues to move on and as we mentioned earlier about the uh, contest um part of current photographers new offering is going to be managed wordpress hosting for photographers websites so we're really excited about that. This is going to be something where we can take all of our expertise and funnel it down to you guys, help you build the best website possible, and really help take your business to the next level. So it's it's been an exciting journey. I mean, 25 years of craziness, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's amazing how fast uh, time goes by, you know, doing what you do. I mean, for, sure. for, for me, I started out also in an art school. I went to... Um, the Art Institute of South Florida. So I was down in Fort Lauderdale um, for my art school uh, training. And um, I was there for some time and ended up getting a job at, well, once again, an ad agency. Um, and my position, like you, was actually doing some paste up and you know cut out, lay out, paste up. Um, back when it was a Veritype machine, that was prior to everything else. That was actually when you would cut and paste. Oh God! <laughs> um, how many how many cuts, Exacto knife cuts, did you have? Oh man? my God! Yeah, and then we make the, <laughs> it was like every day I'm going through a band aid. Man. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's that's how it was, you know, on the light tables and everything. But um, yeah. you know, it was, it was an amazing experience. So, and I did a lot of cover work. So I did a lot of magazine work, a lot of cover of uh, magazines. So. Um, that's kind of where my basis came from. And I did that for quite some time. And, um, you know, I've always been a computer geek. You know, my first computer was like an Apple, Apple II Plus, um, way back in the day. And um, I've always been like a nerd, you know, when it comes to computers. And <laughs> um, I think we're all nerds. Yeah. So, you know, I actually ended up um, going to another, you know, formal education, another uh, college, and I kind of majored in uh, computers as well as um, uh, psychology, sociology, and child psych. And, um, but, you know, for me, the computer stuff was always fantastic. I loved computers. So I had this amazing opportunity to get into a business of selling 
software, selling hardware wholesale internationally, globally, worldwide. So right. I started a company um, and I did that for quite some time. The money was amazing, right? This was back yeah. in the heyday of computers. Well, that yeah, I was just going to say that's when right. you could really make money in that type of yeah. business. So sure. it was extremely lucrative, extremely lucrative. But it was just like, you know, all that creativity is just kind of pent up and you can't do yeah. anything with it. You know, you're pushing numbers around, you know, I need five cases of that, 10 cases of this. I need 2000 of that going to this school board. I need whatever. And yeah. what ends up happening is it just, it, it's just too much. It's just not what you want to do. And, you know, for me, I've always, you know, said, if you're not doing, you know, what you absolutely love doing when you wake up in Monday morning, you know, you need to go back to bed and then wake up and go find another job. Because, yeah, you know, truth, life, life is too, too damn short, you know? Absolutely it is. Um, you know, so, you know, finally, uh, you know, I, I did that for many, many years. And I said, you know what, it's enough, enough. I, I can't do it. So I went back to the art. I went back to the business and I started Allure Multimedia, um, which is kind of dual passion. It's multimedia. So I'm doing both the computer side, the video side and photography. So I started doing commercial photography um, and I did a lot of like, you know, of course, ad campaigns, but I did also branding portraiture and commercial work was like the major thing. So I would do fashion designer stuff. I would do um, a lot of uh, record labels. I would have, um, uh, cut, you know, let's say if so, someone has a album coming out, I might be the guy that does the album, a six panel digipack that you would see at Fies or something. That would be me creating that for them. So right. um, I did a lot of that and that was just, you know, it's like I yeah, I came back home. Let's just call it that. Um, sure. So photography has been my passion, my love ever, you know, since the 80s, um, back in film days. Um, you know, my first camera was an SRT 102 or something. Um, but, you know, coming back to it is just has been absolutely wonderful. And, you know, now working, you know, kind of going forward, um, for me, my every day looks more like, you know, doing show stuff, doing all of the, you know, the professional, the commercial photography type of stuff, the branding portraiture, seeing models, seeing actors. I do a lot of stuff over at Donald Trump's Mar a Largo because I'm literally right up the road. Um, so I do a yep. lot of like that high end corporate stuff on a regular basis. So, um, you know, and then on in my spare time, <laughs> because I have so much of that, um, I'm an inventor, right? I always try making products for photographers, uh, for people that are like me, um, that might be just starting out and they don't have a ton of money. Because I remember when I first started, it was like, oh, you need this, you need that, you need this. And time you look at it, you're like, oh my God, I got 500 here, I got 2,000 there, I need another 1,000 yeah. there. So I always try finding uh, you know, things that photographers that, can, that, that they can use that doesn't break the bank, but it's extremely useful for them. So I started developing products. So in my spare time, that's what I do. I invent um, products. You know, and um, right. that's kind of like my thing. And I've been doing that kind of ever since. So, I mean, for me, I'm just ecstatic to be able to sit in the art environment. Um, you know, one of the one of the greatest things that has happened to me in the last 10 years was actually showing um, some of my work at multiple um, galleries. And literally one of the galleries was just a stone's throw away from where I went to school at the Art Institute down in Fort Lauderdale. So nice. to be able to feature my work in a gallery and have people, you know, pay large dollar amounts for my signed work is just, you know, just amazing to me. And yeah, um, that's really cool. I tell you, yeah. that, you know, so many artists, I mean, that's one of their lifelong goals yeah, is to be able just, to, to be a fine artist and do right. what they love and be able to make a couple bucks at right. it, you know? I mean, that's good. Hey, don't forget all the video production you've been doing too. <sighs> Just a little bit, right? So, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, I'm inundated with that stuff. Yeah, lately. I mean, I do. So, on the video side, I do, you know, I, I, I guess you would say more on the DP, you know, I kind of do a director photography stuff. So, I'll do the f photography side, but I'll also do video production side too, of course. So, um, yeah, just recently we covered Innovation Now, right? And we did. Yeah. It was probably what thirteen hours of video, fronts and backs and tails and lower thirds and at, you know all the rest of the stuff that all goes into it. All the editing, yeah. yeah, yeah, you know, weeks of. Um, but I really, you know, it's just every little bit about art I just absolutely love, and it doesn't matter what it is. You know, I still draw, I still paint, um, and I kind of push that onto my kids also. My oldest daughter, you know, she's you know a. a ballerina she's you know um in for a ballet she's a, uh, a college student 
Um, so, you know, and then my middle daughter is also um, into dance. And my young, so it, we're kind of like the art family, right? But yeah, yeah video production, I would, I would have to say video is probably one of my favorite things to do because I can actually create and make things move and just take some of my stills and then move them and manipulate them and, and do some crazy things that you can't normally do with that single image to kind of tell that story. So it's a lot of fun, you know, it's definitely yeah, absolutely, a lot of fun. absolutely. So, I mean, now the next thing really is why did we start the show? Yeah. I mean, what what possessed us to do it? Yeah. I mean, we all know that, you know, a lot of work and time and energy goes into producing something like this. Oh, yeah. You know, really kind of what possessed us. So, you know, how did, what made you think about it? Yeah, I mean, this? besides that we're idiots and um, we just, you know, we did nothing, <laughs> nothing better to do with our, our time. No, yeah. um, you know, I mean, for me, way back in the day, I, I used to watch Leo Laporte. Um, on tech TV, on ZD TV, for, Call for Help was the show way back, way back in the day when my 20 year old who's in college was literally three, four, five years old. And she used to watch Leo Laporte and she would, she would laugh and giggle and say, oh, there's funny guy because she would laugh and giggle for him with him. Right. And, um, and, you know, that was kind of like the beginning and watching him go through the steps of going from radio to TV and then from TV to basically IPTV, whereas he created his own um, network, basically yeah. internet-based network, um, that was really kind of like the start where the bug kind of was placed. And then moving on a little bit further down the road, Ross Sillers, which we've you know had on the show, we've talked to in the past, we've been on his show. Um, you know, I was on a I was on a flight. I think going to CES way back in the late like 2000, maybe 209, somewhere around there, 210. And um, I was flying over to CES, and I'm like, well, I need something on my iPad. And I was, you know, on my iPod. I was looking around. I found Rosh's show. I'm like, well, this is pretty good. I downloaded like 20 or 30 of his shows. He probably yeah, he new probably, media photographer, new right? media photographer, and he probably that, only that had was 30, the name of his show back then. Yeah, and he probably only had 30, you know, 30 shows at the time. And I sat right. and listened to him. Um, from beginning to end, you know, from the, you know, the, the whole way there, the whole way back. And it was just, you know, really inspiring. And, you know, he sounded great. It was just, I'm like, wow, this would be really great to be able to do something similar and educate people basically on my story and what I go through and all of the problems that I've had and all of the, you know, stumbles that I've had so that they don't have to stumble, you know, kind of give, um, the people, the viewers or the listeners at the time is the listeners, um, you know, kind of uh, a little kind of, let's just say a step up um, on my back <laughs> instead of having to make all the mistakes. So that was kind of right. like the idea. And you had kind of a similar type of situation. Right? I did. Yeah, I did. Back in um, 2005, you know, the iPods were, were out and the video iPod had come out. Right. That that big brick that weighed like, <clears throat> excuse me, like 20 pounds. Yeah, with a hard drive thing. inside of it. <laughs> yeah, it had the moving hard drive inside it. That's right. And uh, my wife had got that for me for my birthday. And uh, it was really awesome. I mean, it was like total cutting edge at the time. It was just absolutely amazing. And uh, so I was looking for something to put on it. I mean, I had all my music. I ripped all that, put that on there. Right. Um, and I stumbled across these things called podcasts. And I was like, ah, oh, what's this all about? And uh, similar to you, I started listening to uh, Leo Laporte. He was doing the tech guy at the time. Right. Um, or uh, no, excuse me, This Week in Tech. Mm. Um, the tech guy was his radio show. I was deprived of Leo's TV show. Our local cable network did not carry it. So I never even knew about mm -hmm. that. I didn't even know that existed until I started listening to his podcast. So uh, it was funny because I would spend like those late night feedings with my daughter, who was just a tiny little baby at the time, <laughs> sitting in my office. Hanging out with, with Leo Laporte? Hanging out with Leo Laporte. That's right. We're either listening yeah. to it from, you know, from the speakers on the computer or I have my earbuds in, depended on on uh, how how awake she was. Um, but it was really funny because we kept on listening to these things, even when she was <laughs> just still a toddler and we'd drive in the car. I'd plug it into the, the car and we'd listen to it and she'd say, let's listen to podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's, it's amazing how they, they just, they remember. And even yeah. just recently when we were in San Francisco, we actually visited Leo Laporte and I got a picture yep. and you got a picture with him. It was like, it was a very great day, I think for both the, for both of us. I know, but I, I know, remember my a... daughter, when she saw that picture, she's like, oh my God, that's funny guy. Immediately yep. she remembered Leo Laporte and all of the times that we spent together sitting in front of the TV and listening to him and watching him and all of this stuff and the giggling and all the rest of this stuff. But they don't forget 
get this stuff, you know? It's, no, it's amazing right. how, you know, you, and, and that's kind of the things that was kind of impactful to me too and it intrigued me is we do these things and these audio um, uh, um, let's say feed, the audio feed as well as the video feed that we create. But it also gets archived forever. It's there, you know, forever. And yeah. um, and no It's one, kind of a legacy, you know? It's kind of a legacy. And I said this before, I mean, we've talked about it. You know, going back, let, let's say uh, 20 years from now or 40 years from now or 50 years from now, we're not here anymore. Our kids or our kids' kids can go back and listen to us discuss things yeah. that we absolutely love and we were passionate about, where Whereas many people don't have that, you know, they might have that yep. photograph that's, you know, so special that the family, you know, holds dear, but to actually have that video representation of the person and uh, the way that they articulate things or the way they speak, the way they carry themselves, the, the everything about them, it becomes forever. Um, yep. They're in perpetuity. Right. I love that. I think it's just a really cool thing. And to be able to educate people and speak to them weekly, daily, you know, monthly, forever it's just a, it's just amazing thing you know yeah it's pretty cool for sure i mean that you know i've really over the last couple of years i've really kind of thought about that as well you know my legacy and and what my kids would remember me by and mm -hmm. you know how they would remember me and mm -hmm. and you know doing something like this that i'm passionate about that i enjoy will maybe someday be something to, you know, inspire them to do what they enjoy as well. I mean, what we're doing with this show is not the norm. Yeah. There aren't very many people in the grand scheme of things that are out there producing something like this right. and and really putting a part of themselves into it. And, you know, I hope that it is some type of inspiration for my kids that think, you know, yeah, I, I it was kind of cool what dad did. And, you know, I would really like to try something that maybe is a little off the wall, you know, yeah. and, uh, you know, and go for it and not be afraid to try it. You no, know? absolutely. So we finally ended up meeting after all of said and done on Twitter. Right. And this is way back. What is it? Oh, nine or 2010 or something. Yeah. 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 I mean, we kind of had that Raj Sillers connection as well back when, you know, simultaneously in 2009, when Current Photographer started, you know, I'm again, I'm looking for more content to listen to on the iPod because <laughs> now my son is born. Right. And I'm doing the late night feedings with him. So, you know, now that I'm doing Current Photographer, I really I kind of have a vested interest in the photography side of things. So I want to keep up on what's going on. I stumbled across his new media photographer podcast, was listening for a long time. And then, um, you know, then he actually put out a call to action to his listeners to say, hey, you know, I'm looking for another voice. You right. know, can we, you know, can, you know, anybody want to get involved or whatever? So I did like a uh, a little news segment for him for a while. I remember that. And yeah, yeah. And I know um, you were listening to me on his show. And then I remember hearing you one time on his show. Yeah. You actually had called in and had a conversation with him and stuff. And, uh, and then we kind of connected virtually through Rosh and then started tweeting back and forth together. Right. And then we had a, a late night Skype call one night. <laughs> it was just like just one random night. late night Skype call. And that was kind of like the end of it, right? Yeah, the one of many. Yeah, it was like love at call. first sound or something. <laughs> something <yeah. laughs> <That's right. laughs> well, it's funny, you know, because we're the same age. Yeah. Um, but we're in two completely different portions of the country. You know, our backgrounds are very similar. Yeah. Our families are close in age. You know, it's it's funny. You know, it, it was almost like, you know, after we got to know each other a little bit. I mean, we're both um, martial artists. We're both black belts. You know, I mean, you don't really very find weird. that yeah. very often. Yeah, it's very weird. That's yeah. right. Yeah, it was very, very def interesting. Let's just say. So, you know, guys, we started the, we started the, doing it as a podcast. We did it as a podcast for like fifty-one shows, and um, it was really great. You know, we started out with little USBs. You know, what was it? The Samsung. Well, I forgot which one it was, but it was a little USB mic, nothing special. And we yep. said, you know what? After at this many, many shows, I think we want to take it to the next level. And I think what we need to do is we need to invest in it and we both need to get the exact same gear. So if we're going to be doing video, and that's what we ended up doing by show number 52, 
Um, yep. Let's go ahead and have the exact same mics, the same video, the same audio. And that's what we ended up doing. We ended up getting the RE20s, which are just, these are like radio mics that have been used for 50 plus yep, years. That's what we're still using now, years later. Yep, state of the art, you know, RE20s yep. when, from the USB mic. We ended up going with really nice webcams. And then we also um, went with the audio recorders, which are the H4Ns, which are just absolutely superb um, audio recorders. So we all, right. we have, and of course, we have our compressors too, right? Our DB yeah, DBX. Yeah, that's why our audio sounds as good as it does, because we're not using Skype audio no. for the recording. We're actually recording our audio each on our own ends, right. and then Joe is merging them together when he's doing the final output. Right, the final so edit. It's, it's basically called a double ender. He's doing oh, his yep. thing, I'm doing my thing, and then I come in post-production, I marry the two together in post. That's that's basically how, right. it, how it ends up. That's the magic behind the scenes, I guess. That's how it works. Right, right, and and the same with the video. I'm recording video loki, locally, Joe's recording video, and then merging them together. Yeah. Yeah, so we had the exact same type of setup for many, many, many moons. And then by about show, what is about 100 or so, we changed the look a little bit. And we've kind of been kind of iterating, right? We've been kind of changing yep. it up little by little. Tweaking by little, it a little bit ever it. since, yep. Exactly. We've had a lot of sponsors, a lot of people that we've um, kind of, you know, we've taken some people that started out very, very small. And by the time um, they've kind of moved along, they were, ju they're just huge now. You know, some of them, have just, you know it. You and know. I tell you, you know, just to name one of them, because I honestly, I'm like really happy with these guys. Um, shoot proof. Yeah. You guys have probably heard of shoot proof. Yeah. I love if those you've guys. been to any photography trade show within the last couple of years, you've probably seen a booth from them. Yeah. Um, they started out when we first started working with them. They are a relatively small company, just a couple people. The first show we saw them at, they had a small booth. It was very nice, but it was a small booth. Yep. And uh, I know this past year, bro, in, uh, in March, when we were at WPPI, WPI yeah. in Las Vegas, they had a massive booth. Yeah. It was beautiful, state-of-the-art, all like really Perfect. nice furniture and hardware there and I mean, these guys are these guys are crushing it. I mean, yeah. they're doing a great job, and I'm really happy to see them doing so well. And and I was glad to be part of you know helping. Yeah, whatever, a little whatever way we did. A little I'm glad piece. we were part of it. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And yeah, like I said, kudos to those guys. They're just um, amazing. And like you said, they are really crushing it. They're doing amazing. Oh, so we've sure. been iterating and just kind of changing things around little by little, little tweaks. And I think coming into 2016, we're going to be kind of tweaking things again and kind yep. of changing it up a little bit and kind of we kind of want to give you guys even more. We we're always wanting to see what we can do, what what you guys are looking for and uh, what you really like. And we kind of we look at it based on subscriptions, based on likes, based on comments, based on what you guys say. We don't think that we're not listening. Sometimes we might not answer, but this is a lot of you, but um, right. we are listening and we're keeping tally. We're, Absolutely. we're taking notes. Absolutely. And, um, you know, these iterations do happen, just not haphazardly. Really. They're literally based on the majority, what you guys want. So, yeah, I mean, we put a lot of thought into what we're doing, both yeah. from a content standpoint and a production standpoint. We need to make it feasible for us to do regularly. We need to be able to have the, you know, basically the bandwidth to do it, yeah. right? I mean, you and I are both busy with the, with the quote day job, right? And and this really is a a more of a a job of passion, let's say, yeah. Um, you know, so I mean, we we need to make it so it works for us in our businesses, but we really would like to take this to the next level, yeah. and you know, part of the giveaway that we're we're running, this promotion that we're running. The, the way that we're asking you to enter is by actually subscribing to our YouTube channel. Yep. And that is really important to us. You know, the video work takes a lot of time and energy, and but it's really good. It's impactful. And we know, we all know video is really important in today's, in today's world. Right. And we really want to bring our video to the next level. Our audio subscriptions are doing great. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're like through the roof. I mean, we've had a lot of longtime listeners, um, who are sticking around, which is fantastic, but we're really looking to grow the video side. So, you know, moving forward, we really want to take the video to the next level and we want to try and step it up and maybe provide, um, you know, additional types of content, more like right. reviews on a regular basis. 
is, as opposed to just every once in a while. Um, you know, we really want to do more event coverage. Mm -hmm. We love going to these, um, to the different places, right? And, you know, I know you guys like hearing about all the latest cool gadgets and stuff Absolutely. that come out. So that's really cool. We'd really like to do that. Yeah, you know, we're kind of like look a little bit. Yeah, we're kind of like the eyes and ears. So when when you guys can't go to um, one of the big shows and we're there, we give you the lowdown. We tell you exactly right. what was there, what's not there, and we we kind of and and I think that and I hope if you're new, you probably don't know. You haven't just listened to some of the shows. We're really unbiased we tell you exactly how it is right. we tell you it sometimes brutally unbiased and uh that doesn't right. it's, not, it's not always a good thing but it does happen um so we really kind of so you're not going to get the press release kind of coverage on the information you're going to no. you're going to get what we see and what we believe um on based on when we were there so yeah i think it's gonna, it's insights and analysis yes. that's the way we really kind of look at it it's commentary on what's happening in the photo industry. That's right. really what we do. I mean, we're not news reporters. No. Um, you know, there's plenty of those types of shows out there. Um, but we don't really want to just hear specs. Right. We want to hear why it's important. Yeah. And we think you guys want to hear why it's important too. Why you should care about this new technology that's coming out or these new services or how to grow your business through these new marketing channels. Um, that's really what we, we, we feel and kind of the feedback that we've gotten from you guys. And we want to be able to do more of that. Yeah. So, but, you know, we need your help. We really do need your help. You know, we need these subscriptions. We really want to take it to the next level, but we can't do it alone. We yeah, need you no. guys. We need your support. We need your comments and your emails and your subscriptions to YouTube and your subscriptions to our, you know, our audio on iTunes. It's very, very important to the growth of the show. Yeah, and that's one of the things that we're going to be concentrating on um, this coming for the new year, too, is making sure that all comments are open and um, waiting um, for your comment and to be able to, and for us, one of us to respond to it. Um, if it gets a little bit heavy, we might get a moderator to get in there to kind of um, help us out. But for the yep. most part, we will be answering all of your comments. So definitely, um, we kind of want to make it so that the YouTube channel is kind of like that uh, central hub where you guys can go to comment and talk about what's going on and listen to you know our um, extended thoughts on something specific if you have a question we're also going to look into possibly a patreon campaign so if you guys want to yes. give you know a dollar you want to give five dollars or a little bit um to kind of help out we would just we would love it it would really help out a bunch especially for server costs for time and for everything else that would be wonderful so that's another thing that we're looking into for 2016 right yeah, absolutely. There's a lot. Patreon has become really big for content producers. Yeah. And again, many of them are doing these for the community for free as, as just a way to share their knowledge, to share their experience or to, you know, provide some entertainment. Um, you know, we hope that we're doing all of that. But, you know, it does take a lot of our time. And, and again, you know, we have to balance the day job with our passions and and really to kind of justify and help offset some of our costs that's why we're thinking this patreon might be a great way to go yeah i i agree 100 percent. you know it's funny I, I come back to a comment that we had not that not that long ago where the the person said listen you know i was i was listening to two or three different photography um podcasts and uh, video casts and shows and i ended up dumping uh two or three of them just to listen to you guys because you were kind of doing it all for me you know i got all that information i needed i got the spec but then I also got the for why, you know, why, the you know, why. this camera, yeah. it has 4k video, but why should you care? And that's literally, yep. you know, what we do is that why, why should you care? Or maybe you shouldn't care. And it's just hype. And we're going to tell you that. So, um, yeah, that was that was one of those, you know, those are those type of comments that we just absolutely love. You know, you. Yeah, I remember that email and that really stood out in my in my head. You know, I mean, that yeah. that has been kind of something that we've thought about all along yeah. ever since that came through we're like wow you know people really are caring yeah. you know they really are listening they are watching they really do care and they care about what we're doing in the content we're providing and that that's what keeps us going yeah you know that that feedback i mean it's you know that's what keeps us going you know yeah yeah no, well, that and the coffee too i guess no, no, yeah coffees <laughs> yeah we used to do that buy us a latte or a ho-ho or that's some right kind of cream that's pie. right we did that's right yeah we did Jeez. that that was many years ago now i don't know many moons ago yeah that's right yeah but anyways you know kind of circling back as we say right circling back you guys need to sign up 
you know, for this. Yeah, it, what, what are we at? I think it was ended up being like forty one hundred and fifty dollars or something. I know it was in over, change. Yeah, yeah in change. Yeah, I, it'll it was, be on the website. Yeah, it'll You'll be, be able exactly to see the exact dollar. So amount let's just say stuff. over four thousand dollars of prizes from all of these incredible, incredible um, companies, and just a ton of amazing, great stuff that's going to go to one person, just I one know, person. It's awesome. So it's you definitely awesome. have to go over there once again. It's contest dot digitalphotographycafe.com contest.digitalphotographycafe.com you got to go over there sign up it's really simple you know so and don't forget everybody gets something everybody who enters will get a copy of joe's lightroom presets yeah which is which is really huge 80 dollar value that's nothing to sneeze at if nothing else you got nothing to lose you you enter the contest at least you're going to get that yeah absolutely absolutely sorry man we need to get out of here i can't believe it's 200 200 200 Oh my god. 201 is right around the yeah, corner. Yeah, I'm going to put up some fireworks, I think. I don't know. That's, <laughs> that's just <laughs> that's amazing. Right. 200. I can't even believe it. I mean, that, we, that we've been around. And, you know, like once again, everyone that is new and that has never seen us, and, you know, it's like, who's these two ugly guys? They're just giant chit chatting here. You know, we kind of been doing it for a little while. Go back in the archives. Literally, there's 200 episodes there. You know, go back 20, 30 back and just kind of listen to some of them because a lot of this content that we give is evergreen. A lot of this yeah. stuff is really just good, solid information. It could be business. It could be art side. It could be just general photographic knowledge, period. Um, yep. You know, insight on new products that come out. Who knows what? But go back and listen to some of those because you will literally have hundreds of hours of, of viewing. Or, you know, and then, yeah, you know, viewing just, and listening. And pleasure. listening. That's right. Absolutely. And, you know, to, right. and, and I just got a special shout out to that guy out there that's sitting in the car listening on Stitcher Radio in germany thumbs up to you <laughs> yeah that's right that's we have right. so we many we, we get that all the time you know hey i'm in germany i'm listening to you on the in the car <laughs> so on the autobahn that's that's exactly <laughs> right so once again thanks a lot if you're new welcome welcome aboard and please stay with us for another 100 or 200 that's right that's right all right man let's roll we're out of here so if our listeners and viewers and new listeners and viewers want to connect with you outside of the show what is the best way for them to reach you yeah find me over on twitter and that's at joseph christina and that's christina without an h great and you can connect with me on twitter it's at trevor current so all right everyone we are out of here for another well, i guess 200 right hopefully another that's right. around that's right. so anyways you can get all the show notes from this episode by visiting digitalphotographycafe.com and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel at youtube.com forward slash d photo cafe and don't forget don't forget get into that wow what is this forty one hundred dollars let me repeat forty one hundred dollars sign up for that contest contest.digitalphotographycafe.com contest dot digitalphotographycafe.com and we'll see you next week you've been watching the digital photography cafe show with trevor curran and joseph christina subscribe to our youtube channel with any compatible device by visiting youtube.com forward slash dphoto cafe be sure to subscribe to our audio feed through itunes stitcher tune in and xbox music apps or through rss Visit digitalphotographycafe.com for show notes and to connect with your host.